Is that? So, I mean, I feel like there's not many teams you're seeing the aggro tri lanes out of. Maybe like the two one two setup, but not so much the aggro tri. He tried to. Oh, what are you doing? Kill him. He tried to go at level two with the shockwave on the neutrals. Oh, he's got it. Uh, Tango. That was oh, yeah. almost survived with that. That was really region. close. Top lane. Okay. Well, you normally go the arcane boots, right? Yeah, I've been playing around with Ags a little bit, but I'm still Radiant's a fan of Arcane Boots, I think. Here's the Nature's Guys play at Pycat, getting right in close here. They see Puppy as well. Puppy goes with a grip. Pycat could open up off of this. Gets a Shadow Strike as well as the Scream. Magicka gonna go down, but the stun's still coming out. Gonna miss Pycat, and with the Wiz support here... Oh, it's a Shackle! That tree! Coming out of nowhere! Puppy's still in trouble. The second Scream gonna finish him off. An S4, very low on HP. Aki. Kept alive for now, the blink in, Pycat has another scream, needs to hit on S4, won't be able to do so right away, the Shackle gonna miss, and Zai's got an RP though, looking for that onto Pycat, maybe in a skewer back, Kuro, Light Strike Array is there, RP, gonna be used, Pycat being healed up by the Overcharge as well as the Wisp on the high ground, oh, Sonic Wave disaster. goes through, gets S4, Pycat's still alive, the scream comes out, it's a double kill for Pycat, he wants more, he wants Zai and Zai, out of mana, running out of HP, Pycat unfortunately... Uh, they're kind of big game team fight. these late game team fight items are theirs. He's gonna get scouted out. He's got the Aegis though. They don't want to overcommit. They're gonna need a relocate in if they want to even kill him once, but here comes your Bane. In the relocate now coming out. Kind of used in a very defensive position here by Ake as well as Loader. Now there's your Fiend Script gets cancelled out by the Clockwork Hookshot. They're looking for that RP. Can they find a great Sonic Wave from Pycat? Goes through. Puppy finally gets brought down. Niqua, he full stuffs himself into a shackle. Loader left alone. He didn't get relocated back out. And now Arteezy trying to hold on to the Sages for a bit longer. Pycat coming in from the side. Loader finally gets the backup he needs from the Wisp. He's getting low though. Down at 300 HP. There's another Shockwave and Alina stun in just a second. Solo RP on Loader. He goes down and it's just your Queen of Pain left standing. Pycat gonna get the hell out of there. A secret win. What I want to say is one of the puppy who was out of the sentry range, so yeah, didn't really have the necessary coverage there. Now they're moving forward, but the line seals is happening. They've got the high ground ward. Hookshot in on puppy to start things off, but the counter yield is there. No cogs comes out. Light Striker Ray onto oh, Nico, and he may go down to this Laguna, gets full star forward, that's not the direction he wanted to go. In comes Loader, there's your Overgrowth, and down goes your Troll. Locked down once more, Pycat blinks forward, slows Puppy, and Loader, and the front lines has the completed AC, he's doing a lot of damage, turns his back before he gets stunned up, that'll help him negate some of that damage, skewer backwards, Triant, uh oh, he's in some trouble on the high ground here, the living armor on himself, he gets gripped up and brought down, but his team is cleaning up, Loader in the front lines, just doing a lot of damage, and more importantly, Pycat. Gemma Tree Fight on the deck. Mm -hmm. They've got it. Recovered and now onto the tier 3 tower. Pycat just Troll does not have now. a buyback. Neither does Bane. I think this, this... is a set of racks. Unless we get a massive RP. Well, there's a shackle shot under Nequa. They need another Laguna Blade if they want to fight this one. It looks like it's a solo RP on Pycat. Can they bring him down? They screw him towards the tier 4 towers. But Pycat. Didn't even really come close to dying. He actually blinked back into a tower here. They lose the win range in the meantime. Load up being dealt with by the Yule, but dealt with. Isn't really quite so tree on, they're like, oh fuck that. We'll yeah. go the other way, guys. <laughs> Puppy walks into him. Uh oh. Loda goes forward. One right click is a quarter of Puppy's HP and Guru's light struck array off the mark. Puppy taking big damage from Loda. Loda just marching on forward. There's your living armor once more. He gets one and he's looking for more. Tinky Winky trying to fight Loda, but I don't think that's a fight he's gonna win. Off to the side, Kuro takes a Sonic Wave, RP not being used, Pycat refreshes, hexes up Zai, blink in with a scream, Sonic Wave, ah, misses the Sonic Wave, but it's still a, a party victorious all. team fight. It's a celebratory ulti from Pycat. Well then, that is looking like an alliance high ground push to come and possibly bottom racks if they want it. Definitely bottom racks. Size no buyback either, so maybe mid racks as well. Or, hmm, I think the smart play is they should go for Roshan. Well, actually, if you can get the does Kroki have buyback? No, Kroki doesn't have buyback. Does. Yeah. Okay. Um, Relocate's gonna put him yeah. under this tower. This is actually kind of problematic. Forces them to engage. They go in with the hook shot. Starts things off on a puppy. Puppy's being getting locked down in place. And there's your Sonic Wave number one. Is there a number two? The refresh is still in cooldown. Loader. RP down. brought down and Alliance. They're forced to retreat. They've only killed off the Bane with the Clockwork, and Arteezy will bring down. One more, that's a gem on the side of Team Secret now with that kill. A good hold for Secret. These they know the here. here. Ah, uh, they deward it. Magica also gets scouted out by the gem, and there's your hook shot. Catches RTZ. He can beat KB, but he gets Hex first. The Sonic Wave goes through Kuro. Misses the stun, and RTZ falls to just BKB and run. Doesn't want to turn and fight, and well, Magnus guess what? Magnus abandoned. What's he... a refresher from Pike? Has a buyback. Ooh, hook shot. Catches Kuro. 
Fiend's Grip now being used as a countermeasure here. Niqua losing most of his mana for the force after the high ground. And Niqua trapped in his own cogs. He's going to be brought down. Aki, the relocate was too late. Oh dear. Dust forward. That's going to catch up Magica, but it looks like they don't want to chase any further. The Magnus buyback was used. Oh, back comes Aki. Down he goes. Not getting away this time. Feels like Secret is still holding on and you can... Attack! Even in the BKB, Arteez is going to try Satanic and bring down Loda. He's life stealing a bit back to Blade Speed. No one dead just yet. Hookshot forward from Nico. Catches out Kuro as well as pushing back Arteez again. It's a huge RP! Arteez going to clean up! Didn't even... It had the Empower as well. That's three dead on the Alliance side. Insta buybacks coming out. They want to fight this one. Hookshot in on Puppy. He gets full stuff back. He goes down to the Pycat Queen of Pain. Blink forward available soon. And Pycat may be able to finish off S4. He's trapped in the trees here. Four stuff. And Loda doesn't have a BKB. He may have an Aegis, but you Sleep can it. kill him really Sleep deep up. inside your base. Here or comes. Some Sleep. Go. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that's gonna catch out one on the side. Overgrowth catches out three. Arteez, he locked in place. He's also hex up. Can't BKB out just yet. Now he's gonna BKB, but the mag is dead. Loda taking heavy damage here. He's getting overcharged up, and Aki healing him, keeping him alive. Loda won't die. He's still alive. Aki just healing him, being the medic, and Arteez now in trouble. No BKB, no Satanic. Yeah, no, he's got the Satanic. He's gonna turn and fight, bring down the Aegis, move on to Aki. Out of Drask, helping him out a bit here. Is it going to do enough for Arteezy? Back to full HP. They're going to buy back the Magnus now. RP. Still on cooldown for 70 oh, seconds. Shackle. Two hero shackle. S4. Wind Ranger in action. Nikwa now slowed down. Doesn't get the hook shot out. Two dead for Alliance. And in the mid lane, it's Pycat trying to work on a raid track. Blink skewer. They're going to glyph it. As clean for now, but. A, this is a blind smoke gank, though. So they have. I mean, they, they, they kind the of see him. Do they go on him? Queen of Pain with a fresh dig on five. Hook shot in. They've got no refresh on the cop. They're going to start off with the hook and Arteezy. Four stars forward. Doesn't do the most with the cogs here. Nikwa trying to see what he can do. Tinky Winky is going to be the target here. The Laguna Blade used to counter Sonic Wave. Not bad for Blake no against the Magnus. No buyback, no RP, hard fight for Team Secret, and now Arteezy locked in place, but BKB's out of the overgrade, trying to fight Loda. Great hook shot from Nico, but he gets Fiend script up. Nothing to cancel this match, because he's going to stand man. and watch as they lose their clockwork, but that's a dead S4 win ranger. May force out the buyback here. Pycat moving forward, blinks to the west as he gets out of there. That's three dead on Team Secret's side. Arteezy forced to scurry away. He gets Lincoln's up by Kuro. As they want to focus down this melee racks now. Secret, buyback on their win ranger. Loda in some trouble. Has a cheese available? Gets the shackle shot. Can he even pop this? Is the bash RNG there? You betcha! Loda, no cheese for you! S4 gonna be a dieback though as Queen of Pain blinks the high guard. Refreshes the blink! Pycat gets out, turns with a hex, Sonic Wave, Dagon 5. Like a monster of a hero as well. Not quite the same just brute force of the troll warlord, but some flashy plays coming out of Pycat here. Got a hex, doesn't he? Oh no, 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 no back. Hex. It's a relocate. They're gonna buy back the bristle. They want to kill off our oh. He's gonna BKB though. Can he go in and fight? It looks like the answer is probably yes. He brings down the Wisp and Loda may be in some trouble. This is a buyback for your Bristleback. He's got to be careful. Has the cheese available? Will he get a chance to use it this time? Does watch the RP. Look so. watch, watch, watch Zion base for RP. Uh oh. Pycat, he's ratting it up. There's your Blink RP. Can they kill him off? Skewer into the Troll Warlord. Pycat going to go down here. That's a big kill. They stopped going for the Bristleback just to make sure they kept their base alive. It was just distraction tactics coming out from Loda. Just to create... Here's a DD. Rat Dota. Oh, it's, it's not an alliance game without a bit of Rat Dota. S4 oh, gonna go. Oh, gets the, the win. Right there. That's barely gonna save his life. Overgrowth now comes into play. BKB out. They're gonna try final loader. They kill him off. No buyback for your bristleback. <laughs> Meanwhile, Trian. Gonna get punched. That's some game losing shit right there. But you know what? I like I like to see it. You know, you gotta get creative against trolls sometimes. I love how you to break it. Like that's Time wasted and like even you just could get a man, so you, you could get a divine. Well, I like the idea of divine. You mentioned Roche contest, it looks like secret. Not going to be in the neighborhood for this one. They're going to just bank everything on their high ground defensive capabilities. Yeah, Zai so has got that magic buyback this time. There's two minutes to a glyph. I don't know if I'm sure they probably took a timer if they glyph. They might try and make something happen before that comes back yeah. up. I'll be scouting things out very aggressively. It's a Fiend's Grip on Madska, who's actually completely alone. That's just a free pickoff. No relocate. Oh, oh okay, oh. there we go. Took that extra bit of time. If he would have tree armored and stick and spam bottle, I think he would have lived. Oh, no. Okay, just. Oh! Oh, RP. Oh, dear. Does Wiss have buyback? He does. Thank you. 
Is he even taking loaded with him? Yeah, he is. Oh, he's gonna find this one. They BKB. The fiend strip is there. The hook shot knows gonna be a hex on the puppy. That'll cancel. Great. Sonic wave goes flying through. There's a second Sonic wave if Pycat wants to use it. He'll do so. S4 getting low, trying to turn and fight, but loaded with the whiz tether being kept alive. Overgrowth now comes into play. RTZ locked in place. He can't satanic. He can't attack. Buybacks are plenty for secret. They're going to buy back the Wind Ranger, buy back the Troll. This is it. No RP makes this difficult, though. Zai only has a skewer back, pushes Pycat into the rest of the team, but they've got no follow up lockdown. They can't keep these alliances in the place except with the S4 Shackle. Loader, it's going to be just the Aegis for now. Unlikely we see a second kill. Wisp is there with a tether. They're going to hook shot in, bring down your Lena. No buyback for Kuro, it looks like. Loader now on the front lines. He's looking to just brute force his way through Team Secret. As Arteezy on the front lines has got that Manta style now, but it's Pycat on the back line. Stag on five, brings down your Bane, then he blinks out. Hookshot gonna catch out Zai. Nikwa making some plays happen. This constant hookshot spam. This is some Dota 2. Oh, Arteezy can't keep up with the clockwork, getting blocked out by the cogs. Arteezy in the front lines, he's just getting kited up. Finally gets the BKB get back up. They're just focusing down the racks though. The range racks is dead, the melee taking damage. Arteezy's still alive and kicking. It's Loda who's just focusing the melee. Looks like he will get it. Mega creep. Team Alliance, don't take too many casualties. They're going to buy back the Clockwork. Zai, no RP still. Blinks forward after Pycat looking to get this kill here. Skewer back, that's going to be on Matchka. Overgrowth on two, and where's that Manta style? We'll get out of the overgrowth, but no, GG, Drone goes down. All right, game one in the pack. Well, that was a real barn burner. <laughs> that was... I mean, we talked about the scrappy fights, which seem to to work out pretty well for Alliance all throughout the early game, and they end things in pretty scrappy fashion. I think you handled that last team fight pretty well. Yeah, it was. I I don't know what the what the hell was.